Okay, uh, hi guys. Uh, I'm gonna record a video that I've been wanting to record. This is post, so I'll probably sh throw a Kakaros challenge behind this, because that's all I do, so I'm just gonna record some Kakaros and use it, but... Yeah, this is a video that I've really wanted to record for a while, and... Because it's just kind of something that, with school coming back around, and everyone going to be like, Wow, you have so much free time during the school year, how do you do this? I just want to talk about the fact that I am uh, a high school dropout, but I first off wanna start off by saying, if you do anything to like try and like accuse me of being a dropout or like anything like that, or, like just trying to make fun of me for it, I will laugh at you. Cause it's not like I'm a dropout who just like dropped out of school and has no life plan for myself and just thinks I'm going to make money off playing Minecraft that is nowhere close to anything that I think is my goal. I just enjoy Minecraft and I enjoy making content. I don't think this will ever be something I can live off of, and I don't do it for money. So that is the first thing I'm going to say. Um, and the second thing I'm going to say is, this is kind of like a, a longer, more personal story just about school, but I'm also still not going into some aspects of my personal life that also factor in. But yeah, this is like a three year of my life story that's going to be cut down into like, I don't know, probably like 10 minutes of me talking. So know that I'm probably skipping important factors just because it's hard to remember three years right off the top of my head like without any preparation or any script or anything because I, I hate scripts to ADHD for them but first this all kind of started with I went to a really small uh private school for the first or from I went to a, I went to a um um fuck I went to a public school for first grade and I've always had really bad handwriting, which I still do to this day. But my handwriting was so bad that instead of like me starting to like learn some things, they like would like spend they were more focused on my handwriting and make getting my handwriting better than they were like teaching me at first. So my mom didn't like that. She's like, Well, I'm gonna go find some alternative schooling. And like she found this one kind of school, which is like it's like a everyone's like treated equally school, like I don't wanna go too in depth, but if you just wanna look up the anything about it, it's Waldorf education. That's the type of education it was. Um, but like Rudolf Steiner Waldorf, but I went there and at the end of eighth grade, I wanted to go to school with my cousin. My cousin is was one of my closest friends that I didn't go to school with at that time. And this that high school was five, 10 minutes away from my house and I'd be going to a school that was like 40 minutes away. So I wanted those two changes. But the other changes that came across when I switched to high school was I had never had public school learning really since first grade um, my the, the schooling that I had was so hands-on and the teachers were able to help so much that it, it was really good at like masking my how bad my ADHD truly was so I had been also going through my life eight years of diagnosed ADHD so those are two factors in the whole high school dilemma that are really big problem solvers and there's also things going on in my per personal life at this time that I'm not going to go too deep into, but this is around the same, this has been about few, it's been like four months since my mom got kicked out of the house, and it was just me and my grandparents, so I was still adjusting to that, and uh, basically my first uh, year of high school, I did, I went through the first two months really bad. I was missing I was missing like four days a week going like the fifth and I was failing all my classes, GG. But I was in this cycle for my whole first semester of freshman year where I missed like over 50 days where I would um, miss a day. I'd miss like one day because I'd wake up in the morning and be anxious because I was switching from a school that had 260 kids to a school that had 8,000 kids and uh, yeah, it just, it just wasn't ideal. <laughs> um, like around there and then um so i'd miss a day because i was just anxious or something like that or i'd like i'd get i'd get work wouldn't do it because my adhd and i would just forget to do it or something like that be, get sidetracked wake up the next morning be too anxious about uh going and um then that day i would just end up not going and i'd get one day behind and then the anxiety would just get worse and worse so it was basically it was a perfect storm of like depression being mixed with I mean not depression well that is the thing that did like factor in but it was, it was like the smallest factor out of all my mental illnesses 
<laughs> my two mental illnesses. It was like a mental illness being mixed in with uh, my learning disorder and it being a terrible storm. And it was just an adjustment I was making. And I'm someone who's more lean towards like, I don't mind taking my life slow. So I didn't like, I don't really care if I would have like, if it would have taken me like a fifth year of high school. This is my mindset during freshman year. I was like, okay, I don't care if it takes me five years to get through high school. All that matters is me getting through it. So that I get to the first semester, um, which I only end up failing one class because I do really well in my finals, even though I wasn't there for like more than half of the classes, but, and my teachers are really like helpful. But then the second semester starting and through the first two weeks of the second semester, I was going like four days a week instead of five, which it's not, again, it's still not perfect, but I was just getting more comfortable with the whole public school system. And just, I was finally getting able to, I was getting actually up every day and stuff like that. There'd just be like one day a week. I just would not go because I was just, but it was, it was improvement. I'm not saying it was perfect, but it was improvement. Um, but then covid hits this is when covid hits in march and we switched to online school and let's just say online school i don't think i've ever half-assed anything more in my life than that first online school and like that that semester of online school where ever basically everything that happened was just oh okay we're gonna we're gonna um we're gonna just basically it was so shitty they were just like you know none of these classes you can choose for none of these classes to affect your gpa because it was just so messed up that like you can just take the credit and just have it not accept your accept like or uh, affect your GPA, which is what I ended up doing for like everything. Because I, again, I think I got D's for literally every class, but I passed them. Because <laughs> online was just so bad. It was just like they didn't know what they were doing. We didn't know what we were doing. It was just bad. So then the start of my um, sophomore year, which sophomore year, I was would have I was back in that sense of wow this is another thing that is brand new to me and everything is just continuously is new and yes it was new to everybody but still like i people with anxiety are going to have especially with like the type of thing the things i'm afraid of are i'm 100 percent afraid of new things change it's one of my biggest fears so when it's something like that it, it does take me a while to get adjusted and going into it it was when i was when i went through my whole life with anxiety and shit like that i learned ways when i was in a classroom to like look like i was busy when i wasn't actually busy just to like just to avoid the teacher calling on me and stuff like that so when i got put into a uh, a virtual call setting in high school i um i was like i would miss calls because i was so terrified of getting called on even if I knew the thing, that I just wouldn't go to calls because of my fear of getting called on. Because basically, the way my my grade was working when it, our my first few months of online was, um, yay! You are you are doing really well in everything that you can figure out not going to the call, but then you're also not completing the parts of this that you actually need to go to the call for for some of my classes. There's some of my classes I would go to because. I, the first experiences, they never called on anybody, so I had no fears of that, and those classes I was doing pretty good at. Um, but then there's also one of my classes for that first um, month of online. I never got emailed the Google Classroom for, and it took me like a month to finally get into the Google Classroom. So it went back to that, wow, you're behind for a month. And it was just, yeah, it just, it just, wasn't, it just wasn't a great start, and it was a whole more anxiety about being behind for a month than being ADHD, so not really being able to sit down and do work for a long amount of time to catch up. Um, so then what ended up happening was, is online was terrible for me, but I was getting into my groove of online on what classes I'd actually go to and what classes I just wouldn't do anything in. <laughs> um, which wasn't great, but at least I was doing something. Um, but then we switched to in-person, which we had A days and we had, we had B days. My A days were my three probably favorite classes outside of Spanish too because Spanish just like talking causes me a lot of anxiety so um what ended up happening in would be I'd go to B days and I was doing exceptionally well in chemistry and then I was like a little behind in history and I had a A in Spanish as well because I'm relatively good at Spanish or just like the class not speaking it but the class um which is surprising because other languages are really hard 
because of ADHD, because I don't remember anything that I've ever learned, and I've taken over nine years of languages of my life. <laughs> um, but uh, then my, my B days were um, English, gym, and math, and ma or English was the class that I missed like the month of because I wasn't in the classroom, so I uh, was already not looking forward to it, but it's also English, so missing stuff in English isn't that detrimental. So, um, but the first day of, like, back to school in person, like, during that first semester of sophomore year, I missed the day. I missed the first day, and, yeah, uh, I missed the first B day, or, yeah, the first B day, because I was sick or something, I wasn't feeling good. It wasn't, like, actually me, like, not being there because of anxiety or anything, but, basically, that's when I emailed my teacher, my gym teacher, being like, hey, gym teacher, um, I wasn't there and I am going to be there next class so where can I go or where can I meet you or what do I need to bring so then the next class that I'm there the next b-day I'm so lost and then I find the gym teacher and the gym teacher just gives me attitude about not having the right stuff and all of that and I'm like what I, I literally emailed you like and I just I don't know I felt very really, like disrespected in a sense or it's like i'm getting shit because i wasn't there but i did the, went through the proper channels for not being there and you're being annoyed with, and annoyed and pissy with me so i'll just say because of the way i am i was already someone who was didn't want to do anything related to gym and like never wanted to take gym so um it led to me never going to a b-day again for that semester <laughs> um so yeah i never went to gym again that whole semester, I just didn't go to school on B-Days, which I passed, I passed three classes and failed three classes uh, during that semester. I failed, I repassed all my A-Day classes and failed all my B-Day classes. <laughs> um, and then it leads to second semester, where second semester I'm taking health and not gym, and we're back to like, during the first semester we, we kept switching between online and in-person, which I hated. And second semester it's like, We've been in school for like a month and a half. We, uh, I'm getting, I'm getting new, I'm getting health instead of gym. So I don't have to deal with my gym teacher and I get to, I get to go to, the, I'm going to go to the class now and I'm like going to do well. And let's about two months into the second semester, we have been nothing but in person the whole time. I have like two A's, a B, I think I have a C in English, but that's like, yeah, who cares? And then like a D or D minus in math, but I'm allowed to not be doing well in math. I missed a whole month of math and I was basically having to self teach myself everything. So I was still doing, like I was still doing well on tests and shit for me, like having like being behind like a whole semester on the math curriculum. Cause I didn't go to the math the first semester. But then the worst thing that ever happens hits. I'm finally in my groove for the school and I'm finally going every day and like getting back into the groove that I finally wanted to be in and we switch to in a COVID outbreak hits again and we, we switch to being back to being on online yeah yeah guys it it, it, go, it goes down real fast it's 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 in March again by the way it, it is in March again or whatever I think it was around March might have been late March or whatever um and I miss I don't go to three virtual calls because I just fuck just i don't know i i really didn't have any reason for that one or one that i remember it just didn't go because i think i just hated the online class and i was told it was only gonna be like a like a two-day thing so i was just like fuck i fucking didn't go and it ended up being a week thing and since i missed the other virtual calls i went back into that anxiety and all of that like that scuff and it led to um me never going to school again for the rest of that year basically in a way i've been a dropout for over a year because i didn't go to school from like march till the end of the year because it, it, it took like two weeks of me not going to school to be like i don't think i'm gonna go again this year um and yeah so then i never planned on not going back i kind of just planned on like okay everything in the, wor the world's been kind of weird i need something that i can guarantee is going to be consistent so i think i'm going to try to do fully online next year so i can guarantee consistency and get used to it because i don't want to have what just happened happen again so i switched to uh fully online school which let's just say it's probably the biggest mistake because it was set up it was set up like 
you had to read like 50 pages of shit to answer five questions and that's all like that's what it was for every class and since i'm really like adhd i never want to put the effort in so i would just like i was always either too anxious to like read through all of it being like there's only five questions and all this shit so i would just like not read it or like skim through it like really quickly and then like guess on all five of the questions because it just seemed like way easier and I was taking shortcuts. Um, that's what ended up happening and I was doing really bad. And then I got to the point where I was doing really bad. I'd quit Minecraft and I literally just like cared so little about it. I put my, I, my PC was in my closet. Um, um, so basically what ended up happening is then I got cancer. I was like, fuck this school shit. Like I, I, I could, there's other, there's other paths in life to take. I, I'm not, I'm not going to be a complete failure. I'm just not going to live the ideal path. I wasn't going to have a great GPA anyway, so going and getting into a good college was already out of the picture. So yeah, I'll go a little bit into my life plans, because it's probably something that's like questioned on, or people like being like, oh, so you just want to play Minecraft. It's There's a lot of things with public high school education that I don't agree with, and there's just a lot of American schooling things that I just think are fucked. So I don't want to go back to high school, especially I'd be like a 17 turning 18 year old 10th grader. <laughs> Because I basically I failed tenth grade twice because I just stopped going this year. Um, because that online school was so bad. But basically my goal is seven seventeen till I turn eighteen. I'm kind of just like living my life, which is why I've been streaming a lot and why during this school year I'm gonna try to stream every day or as much as I can. Um, and then after after the school um. I mean, after I turn 18, I'm gonna get a license, uh, work on getting a GED, which if you're not American, or you, I think some states don't have them, I don't know. A GED is like a test you take where that test basically says, oh, you learned everything you you need to learn in uh, high school. So you, ba it's basically like a, it's like a high school diploma for quitters. It's not as good, and this is not the recommended path that I recommend to anyone. Even people who are struggling with the same things I struggle with, I suggest getting help and seeing a therapist and sticking true to it unlike what I did which is I kind of blow my therapist off but he wasn't the best but it's also there is blame on me here I'm not saying like oh I had it rough and I you could you can persevere I just because I don't think it's the right path so my point in life I think it's the correct path for me um and then from there I would either go to a community college or a trade school depending on what I want to do with my life which I still haven't figured that out yet but yeah, playing Minecraft and playing video games is by far not my plan for my life for the rest of my life. It is just something to do and have fun with while I'm just living, I, having a year to myself. Because it's, it's not something that I'm going to like ever use as, like I ever really want to use as an excuse of being like, oh, I had cancer a year ago, I should really just, or like this long ago, I should really just live my life. But in all reality, like five months ago, I had a cancer scare and I just want a little bit more time to like just have be myself and enjoy life and that's what i'm i i can go more into my personal life growing up which would make this all make sense but i just want to have a year to myself to just like be me and just have fun and that's what i want this year to be so if there's anything is there any other topics you guys want me to talk about i don't really mind talking about serious topics i i, I don't know i enjoy it but the main reason i make this video is because i have a lot of free time and people wouldn't know why so that's one of the reasons so yeah if anyone asked this question on stream and you got to this point, GG. You guys asked the question and watched a video on it, but yeah, I am a dropout. Bye guys.